Visual Honey. Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a review on the Daisy Wheel, a Daisy acrylic wheel. So, um, I will show you the wheel first before we go into talking about the pros and cons of this wheel. So let's take a look at the Daisy acrylic wheel first. Um, the at the wheel part, um, the two parts here, the pink and the clear part is perfectly connected with no seams um, just this very slight deep in the connection here um, but no holes and there are rungs on both sides and if you see the middle here this is the knot that connects it with the back part here and there is this slits here on the wheel. So they are open slits. And it spins really well. It's quite heavy if you compare it to um, plastic wheels. And but runs really smoothly. And this size is the one for my Syrian. There are sizes. There's a smaller size as well. Um, then here is the knob at the back and you can see the slit here and you can see this connection part here with this raised um, sides um, this is the back of the wheel and you can actually adjust the height from here to here and this is the stand it's very stable and the stand itself is quite heavy because it's also made of full acrylic and there's this part here where it's a little bit sharp actually at the edge but other than that all the other areas are rounded and let me open this so you can take a closer look at the oh, it's very tight So this is how you connect it. So I'll show you the height at the tallest. So this is the wheel at its tallest height. Okay, so while we are looking at the wheel, I just want to point out something. That the design of this wheel, right? It's such that my hamster, who was full grown, can actually climb on top here and squeeze itself between here, climb on top and then stand at the top. And I will share more about um, the wheel in the next part of this video and my review on it. So that was a close-up look of the wheel. Um, I would like to share my personal experience with this wheel that my hamster actually right um climbed up this wheel and fell as she was obviously because she like stand on top of it and then like fall down here right so i put a lot of baiting that night that was the first night that i got this wheel for her then um i thought that okay you know it's just for one day um probably nothing's gonna happen then in the morning i checked on her she was fine then in the night when i came back after work I saw that she was injured, she had a bruise on her eye um, and her leg, she had it sprained before that I didn't know what had happened, she was wobbling and she didn't put weight on one of her back feet so I was very worried um, I cried because it looked pretty bad like um, if it had affected her spine or if her legs were broken, you know, it would have been very painful for her and I didn't know if it was that serious you know and I was worried so I rushed her to emergency vet then um, thankfully it was only a sprain she was given pain medication um, and obviously I removed this wheel so this is one of the dangerous things about this wheel the design is such that they can actually climb up this hole here squeeze here or maybe climb up here 
and then go to the top and especially the design here this is the part that is the most dangerous because of all these raised edges they can actually put their paws up and climb up like all the way and stand here and another dangerous part about this wheel is the slits here there has been stories that have been shared with me that um, the hamster actually got stuck over here the teeth there was one where it, the nails got stuck so it's actually very dangerous like this is very hazardous this wheel itself i would not recommend anybody buy it but if you already have it then you would have to be very careful and vigilant in terms of whether your hamster is smart enough or able to climb this wheel at the back that's number one some people have diy and covered this part of the wheel somehow using like acrylic and like just putting some wood to cover it so that it doesn't not able to climb up right and another way is to hot glue the slits so that it's not possible for your hamster to put their nails inside or their teeth because um there were people whose hamsters the the toes got stuck right some got injured ripped off some the teeth got stuck until there was blood so I really 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 do not recommend this wheel um, and if you already have it and you don't have the money to buy a new one to hot glue this part at least and somehow think of a way to DIY the back um, yeah because you wouldn't want your hamster to get hurt like mine it was really scary like I was so worried and I was so upset because um, I felt like you know as a hamster parent I didn't take the necessary precautions that I should have uh, when I notice her climbing up the wheel. So once you notice your hamster doing that, remove the wheel immediately because you don't want your hamster to be like mine and end up injured or worse. Um, if she had gotten even like, if she wasn't so lucky, if it wasn't just a sprain, she could have died that day and that would have broken my heart so much. So that is why I wanted to do a review on this wheel for all of you to know the dangers that um, this wheel, the risk and the hazard that this wheel will actually um, cause uh, when you use it. So just be careful when you use it. And if you are like super careful, you can also um, file this sharp part at the bottom here in case your hamster like, you know, crawl under and get scratches or injury to the eye. So yeah, that's all I have for the review today. Other than that, it's actually a really good wheel in terms of like um, easy to clean and it, it spins really smoothly. And another thing you take note is when you wash this wheel, don't wash the metal, uh, the connection part here because like inside it's metal so it will rust. Um, and that is good because it's very sturdy and heavy so it doesn't shift around much when your hamster is running on it. And it's very silent as well, like you see, there's no sound um, when the hamster is running. So it's just the hazardous parts that you have to take note of and you might have to DIY something to keep your hamster from harming itself when using this wheel. Yeah, that's all I have to share uh, on the review of this daisy wheel today. I hope that it was helpful and I hope that if you are using this that you will um make the necessary precautions and um seal up the dangerous areas of this wheel okay so i also have one other daisy wheel um this is a smaller one and it's the same thing like the slits are hazards as well so you should also um hot glue this if you can and the back is also um dangerous because of the raised edges of the design here as well um, just that yeah so this one is also adjustable it's also called daisy wheel but the design is slightly different as you can see from the slits here and the pink part connects from here and this um, running track is entirely transparent so this one is the width is smaller also so it's for like a younger syrian or for dwarf 
for a mature dwarf. Yeah. So I think for dwarves, it wouldn't be an issue when it comes to like the climbing. But if it's a Syrian, then um, it could be an issue as well. Especially if we use it at the lowest height. Mm. So that's all I have for the other daisy wheel as well. Because the design is pretty much the same. And the pros and cons is also the same. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for listening to my video. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave me a like and a subscribe. I will be doing more reviews on different kind of wheels as well. Goodbye!